Well, good morning, fish heads. Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates. Today is Friday, May 22nd, 2020, and we are back in the shop this morning with you guys. Um, few pieces to get through. It is Memorial Day weekend, and my, how time flies. Let me tell you what. It seems like only yesterday it was March the 1st, and now it's March 82nd. Um, it's been, it has been, what is it, the Grateful Dead, what a long, strange trip it's been. Um, hopefully, it looks like some of you guys are going to be able to get back out on the water um, soon, and I don't know of a better way to practice social distancing than to be on a boat or a kayak or in a float tube or on the bank, um, just fishing by yourself or with, you know, your family. I, I really hope that we get back to normal soon. I know that you guys are feeling it. Um, at this point, all I can say is, um, happy casting. That's all we'll say about that. Um, there's a lot we could go into. There's a lot I'm not going to go into. We are going to look at these baits today, and we're going to start out with this popper. This is that gill through, water through piece. Um, I actually cut half eyes on this because I really like these six millimeter. I've got six millimeters in here, and uh, these are from John over at Jets and Lures. Um, but you guys ask, I get a lot of questions all the time on what happens if I get one side clogged up. And I try not to do that. Normally what I'll do is with my tail drip wire, uh, as I'm dipping this, I will put the tail drip wire, run that through, and then gently pull any fluids away, clear coat away from the bottom before I hang that. Um, but occasionally, and you'll notice here on this side, there is a little bit of gunk. And what I like to do, what I prefer to do, is to take an X-Acto knife, because it's a very thin blade, but you have to be super careful, and just get in here, and uh, I'm not going to do all this on camera because that would take up too much time, but just get in here very gently um, and scrape that stuff out. And the blade on an X-Acto knife is going to be way better and much more precise than if you hacked at it with one of these type blades that's too big for it. You don't want to damage this gill either. But it's not that difficult. It's not jammed through all the way down as you can see. Normally just a little bit of it will get stuck in here. Um, yes you can brush on but you're still going to have the same problem because gravity carries this stuff through these gills no matter what you do. So on this particular one you, you can come through the sides and get that out like that. And you can come through the top with that exacto knife. But use this blade and be very, very careful with these blades because they're extra super sharp. Actually, they say, at least when I was a kid, they said that it was more dangerous to play with dull blades than sharp ones. Sharp ones will cut you dull, will uh, rip your skin. So just be careful when you're doing that. That's how I do that if you need to. Um, and it'll come right out for you. And just be careful also not to mess the paint up on that. But this is my poison pattern. It is part leopard frog, part poison frog, poison arrow frog. And it's a very cool, very central Florida going down to Mr. Rosa. I've got one more piece for him as well, but it's still hanging on the clear coat rack. Next up, I've got this little um, SP100. This is that duo pressing. This came from Brian. Um, getting in some 120s as well, but I love these. These are compact. It's a two hook deal and almost like an Okeechobee color, but a sculpin pattern. And we do have quite a few in, uh, that are a little bit green, a little bit bluish as they go through that water. Got some, uh, burnt sienna on the edges of this. Just a cool little sculpin deal. Next up, we've got this Wild Perch, and the last 11 pieces that you're going to see today are for Doug Dry, and they are headed out this morning. Woohoo! Yeah, I know. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting on stuff, and it's starting to come in, so I'm rolling again with you guys' as orders. You guys have been patient as saints, and uh, we certainly appreciate that. And I've been trying to keep you guys as updated as possible through this format, through Facebook, through all of my media platforms. Um, and that's all I'll say about that. This is a Wild Perch. Folks, and also John uh, at Jetson. I'm I'm 
excited to start doing some bigger game stuff with Matt, too. I want to spread the love um, over at Dead Meat. He's got some really cool new eyes out. So go check his Facebook page out. Go check John's Facebook page. So Jetson, Custom Lore Eyes and Custom Lures, and Dead Meat Customs is Matt's. So check those guys out. They are awesome, awesome, awesome with 3D eyes. Just a little perch pattern. It's got bloodshot red. It's a distressed pattern. Really cool eyes. A little bit of, um, of black on top. I, I normally stay away from that, but it looks really good on a perch pattern. And you can see that pearl pineapple shining through and a little bit of lime. So very natural distressed look with three bars. Could also double as a peacock cichlid or a peacock bass. Similar, but not the same. Next up, would you believe I ran out of 2.5s? <laughs> never happens. In the history of Jekyll Baits, I have never run out of 2.5s. I'm going to be getting those back in shortly as well. Um, part of the issue is just um, what the availability has been. Yes, it is not a difficult item to get if you want to get cheap stuff. Um, I try to, to steer away from the cheap stuff and go with um, a little bit higher quality but the stuff I had ordered had not come in, so it, there's only so much in a small business you can do reordering stuff over and over and over again because you're waiting on shipments. So this is on a Strike King, Doug. This is your Nolens Craw, and I put this on the real deal. I'm pretty excited about this one um, because I know how well this is going to swim for you just out of the gate. And uh, I will do that occasionally. Like if I'm absolutely waiting on stuff to come in and it looks like it's not going to happen, um, I will put it on brand name stuff for you guys in a pinch and that's your upgrade for this particular order this is that beautiful beautiful shimmering um, iridescent yellow on the bottom into a gold copper into a plum into that detail black magenta with the uh, with I've been doing the little white freehand dots on these for a long time I like doing them on the edges because it kind of represents where the edges are on those cross segments so there you have it Nolan's Craw. You can see a couple of these. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on these because you guys love it when I make them and I love making them for you. This is that winter green. Also an upgrade because I ran out, I ran out of standard um, lipless. So I know Brian's waiting on the Arukus to come back in. Um, I am down to just holographics. So you guys are all getting upgraded if you have lipless in your current orders with me. And then the winter green on a four inch spook. Fun, fun, fun little pattern. This is that one knot, knock spook and it is a replica but it is a really good replica. I love the way these things swim. Um, they, they will sit just like this in the water and they pop and chug and walk exceptionally well. Very happy with those. Another red discus and this has got a little bit more of that burnt red orange in it. I do each one slightly different, but uh, definitely all of them have that Maui blue base on them or in them, underneath them as a prime layer. Also on an S replica. We have got a distressed crappie on a 2.5. This was the last 2.5 that I had in stock. I do have more coming. Um, they'll be here this weekend. So it's just, it's been, you guys know if you're small business owners, you know if you're artists, um, or if you work for the post office, or UPS, or FedEx. I read the FedEx because I'm waiting on products, um, apparel that I get shipped in from Toronto. Um, all, my, all my apparel is made in Toronto right now at the moment. Um, and I've had stuff that's been saying it was going to ship like three or four different times. It's still pending. I've called the company. They've refunded. They've reordered. the it's it's a nightmare folks I've never seen anything like it I know you guys are starting to feel it as well so just hang in there stick with it we'll get through it together distressed crappie these are the real eyes um, out of lure parts online which I also like using so I try and give you guys the information as where my stuff comes from there is a great tutorial video that I put together for you guys that's got a thumbnail for catalog on the front it says where do I buy that or something like that. It's a very it's, it's it's a recent video that I've done. So go check that one out if you're looking for where to get the right stuff for the right projects that you have. 
Before I did the winter green, this is a green sunfish, um, a darker pattern sunfish. I did the original winter gill. Um, this is on the website at www.jekyllbaits.com. It is the mesh pattern. And yes, I do frequently use that mesh pattern, but I love the way stuff blends on mesh patterns with that black or white crackle. You can use whatever color you want as a, as a primer. Get creative. Get uh, have fun with it. You're going to hear some thunder as we uh, move through the next couple of minutes in the video because we do have some storms rolling through the area right now. Uh, apologies for that. So hopefully it won't get too loud. Copper crawl. Copper, copper, copper crawl. Also with, it's a thinner mesh. Uh, a lot of times like stuff, the difference between this crackle and this is that I have not doubled the mesh over. This was a doubled over mesh. You get a thicker, little thicker deal on that. And this is just thin mesh right off of the, right off of the roll, off the spool. The natural crappie. And yep, this is that, well, that's just a piece of string got on the bait. Um, this is that KBS. That new formula. Yes, I'm a proponent. You don't have to love me for it. It's okay. If you use other things, I certainly don't hate you for it. And uh, I hope that you don't hate that I use KBS. This is a dusted shad. Simple, elegant, very effective on that holographic prefoiled lipless. Great pattern. Uh, great bait, too. Good wobble on that. And, folks, that is all the news that's fit to print this morning. I hope that you've enjoyed hanging out with me for a few minutes. I appreciate the view. I hope you guys have, <laughs> I hope you guys have a really good weekend. I hope you guys get out on the water. If you don't, I hope you do something productive, constructive, um... Destructive, if you're doing demo work, I'm going to be ripping up carpet in a bedroom uh, this weekend for Memorial Day. Woo! My big deal. Um, I did get out and do a little fishing. Uh, didn't crush it, but had a few good bites. Probably not enough to do an entire video on. I won't bore you guys with that. Uh, nature hikes and stuff like that. I, I prefer to do this stuff more. Um, you guys take care. I will see you on the next video. Cheers. Happy casting, and I hope you have a fantastic weekend.